One of the more simpler dilemmas cyclists are faced with is what jersey or shorts should I buy next? And how much should I spend? Well, this is basically brought down into three different levels. Entry level, mid-tier and high end for the professionals and racers amongst us. So let's start at the real basic level. And what do you get when you buy into a cycling jersey? So I've got one here from DHB and it is the lowest level jersey you can buy for 25 pounds and so you get one fabric used throughout you get a pretty sort of generic fit um, more more like a t-shirt than a racing jersey so it'll fit a wider range of cyclists uh, all day comfort etc um, you get a half zip at the front as well as just three standard pockets at the back. So this is the level we're working from, 25 pounds and very, very basic, but not something to be sniffed at. It's a, a decent jersey for the price. So yeah, that is the base level. And to demonstrate how that's different from a race fit and everything in between, we're gonna be using DHB's Aeron kit line. Yeah, I do. So I've got the very top stuff. Uh, this is DHB's Aeron Lab, it's called. So I've got the jersey and I've got the shorts here. Uh, James is one step down with the Air on Speed kit. That's this stuff Very here. Very lovely colourway there. Absolutely. And Sai is at the entry level to the Air on line. Here is my Air on range. And what we'll be looking at are the four Fs. Fit, fabric, features and financials. So basically we're going to have a game of top trumps. We are. Have you got your cards mate? I've got my jersey. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll and get I've mine out. Sure. Jersey and shorts. There you go. DHB use a three-tier fit system with all of their kit. So we have active, performance, and professional. So active fit jerseys, they're like that first one that you put on there. Yeah, um, nice and comfortable. Nice and comfortable, very, very basic fit, very, very relaxed, so great for all types of cyclists. But you and I, we have a performance fit jersey. So the performance fit jerseys, are a little bit more aerodynamic, a little bit closer fit. So with yours? So with mine, uh, this is a medium size. Um, so something I sort of generally go for in a, in a jersey top, uh, now that I'm a bit more porkier and I don't race as much as old Roops over here. Um, so it will be closer in at the waist. Um, it will be more form fitting on the bike as well. So when you're sort of lean, leaning over into the sort of hood position or drop position, the jersey will follow that sort of hunched over shoulders, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the cuffs uh, around the sleeves um, come in a bit tighter. These ones are laser etched, but we'll go into that a bit more detail uh, later. But the differences really in terms of fit come at the collar and probably the waist, uh, where it will have a bit more give uh, and a bit more sort of relaxed nature compared to uh, James. Yes. So this is the air on speed. So it's the next level up. And as the name implies, it's all about speed. So it's a slightly closer fit again. So the sleeves themselves are a little bit tighter than on your standard aero jersey there. Um, and you've got a difference of amount of materials here to create almost a tighter fit at the front. So there's less bunching of material. So there's a nod to aerodynamics when it comes to this jersey here. And my jersey here actually takes that all to kind of the next step. So this falls into DHB's professional range. And uh, that means a far more aggressive fit. So actually, if you look at James's, which you might have seen there, and yours as well, the collar is quite high on both of yours. Yeah, so it kind of goes like almost like highest, pretty high still. And then yeah. non-existent here. And that's because uh, a high collar doesn't let you bend so well over the drops or on the hoods. And this is meant to be riding aggressively. You know, you might be attacking. You need the jersey to move with you. For that same reason, it's got a shorter front, so the zip is shorter because you can't really sit upright in that as much. That keeps you bent low over the bars, keeps you being very aggressive. And longer sleeves. So it doesn't have the cuffs on the end like you saw in yours because these are kind of like a built-in gripper, but we'll touch on that in a bit. But the length of the sleeves is the most important. These sit quite long, probably much longer than yours they, do. They do, in fact, actually. Um, and with this, you know, you're going to get a fairly generic T-shirt tan line. But with, exactly. with you, you're going to sort of go full Alex Dowsett. Yeah, almost. it's going to sit pretty much there and should stay there it's for the whole of the ride. Level, isn't it? it is, it's yeah, and it keeps that length and it's very form and figure hugging on the arm. Uh, so really tight, second skin, DHB call it. 
So when you put that jersey on, it doesn't feel quite as comfortable when you're in a, a standard yeah. sitting position. But as soon as you go down into that position, it's a bit more it like it's like clicks into place. And, and to a point, you get the same thing with these jerseys, but it just has a little bit more give. So it's a bit more comfortable from that fit. We all like a good pair of shorts. They can make or break a bike ride. And DHB do a rather good short. I think the three of us would agree it's one of the better short brands out on the market today. And so the Aeron range, starting at the entry level, falls into the performance uh, side of things. Um, so that's sort of slight compression on the Lycra. Uh, supporting around uh, the lower back into the bibs and then having a nice flush fit around the leg holes. I like the basic terms for these things. Leg uh, holes. The leg, holes yeah. the leg ends yeah. as well, you know, that, that's yeah. another good way of explaining it. So the basic short from DHP in the Aeron range is in fact very, very good and it's actually quite a technical garment. Just like the jerseys, the Aeron speed starts to bring a bit more aerodynamics to it. The main difference here is it's a heavier fabric, so you get more compression. So it holds everything in place, which is always what you want your shorts to do. Yeah. Um, but it just creates more of a seamless fit. So it's more aerodynamic. So you don't have any like sort of big bulky seams or anything on here. So yeah, and that's basically the biggest difference in terms of fit. Um, but then if you look at the bibs, what we have here is we've got a flatter, elastic bib on the front which sits much wider on the shoulders so it doesn't dig in at all so you've got that sort of like nice flush system on here and it makes it feel a more comfortable short overall I think in terms of the, the difference between the Aeron and the Aeron Speed. Sure yeah Aeron Lab though uh, takes it to that next step as you might expect from a professional level piece of kit so it uh, copies the Aeron Lab jerseys second skin fit which just means it's going to be really, really compressive when you put it on. It's going to sit really tight. Uh, it's going to be nice and aerodynamic, so you're not losing anything there. Very comfortable as well. The tighter the short, for a lot of people, the more comfortable it is. You don't feel yourself moving in it at all. You kind of forget it's there because it's just stuck on your legs. The bibs are different, both actually to yours and size, mm -hmm. in that they have this little cutout here, so that helps you back breathe but they're also really wide. They're very thin and really soft. So basically, uh, so, so you can't feel them when that's you're riding along. About as minimal as it yeah, gets. Yeah, minimal though, but yeah. supportive. You know, they spread out a lot on your chest. You've got this support in your back and this uh, keeping, the, keeping the waist nice and high for when you're riding along. So finishing on fit and moving into fabrics where we're starting to get into the real nitty gritty of the jerseys and the difference between each step in the Aeron range. So before I continue, so compared this one with the really basic 25 pound jersey, um, you can actually see the difference already and especially in terms of the two fabrics that are used. So two different style of fabrics are used. Um, one slightly sort of heavier, more durable fabric at the front, uh, but you also get like a clearer mesh fabric under the arm as well as the back. So this jersey starts to manage heat and starts to manage breathability a bit more than the real basic jersey. But overall, the jersey is a bit lighter because of that fabric as well. So the standard fabric is a bit lighter and then the mesh fabric even more so. So you start to get a bit of a weight difference between this uh, and the basic 25 pound one. And I think this one probably represents the biggest change actually. So this one is all about different panels and all about ventilation. So the first thing you notice straight away is it's a lot lighter again. So this weighs 115 grams for a medium jersey, which is pretty damn light really. And sorry, I didn't tell you the weight of my jersey either. So this is 150 grams compared to your... 115, so that's 35 grams difference that is. And Good math. That's man. actually quite significant because one thing when you sort of start buying jerseys like this and start buying a kit like this, it's, it's all about making sure that you're not really feeling them. You know, it's it, a lightweight jersey, a well-fitted jersey is not going to be an issue. So you're going to have much more comfortable times in this. And the other thing as well is it's all about transferring moisture. So we've got ventilated fabrics on the back, there's ventilated fabrics on the shoulders and the sleeves, then underneath as well and on the back, we've got a real, real open mesh panel here as well. So DHB actually say you need to wear sun cream with this jersey because otherwise you won't get any protection from it. And then the material on the front is actually a much stretchier material here. So it creates a much closer position 
So it makes it much, much more sort of aerodynamic again from that point of view. Uh, this one though has got an antibacterial treatment. So if you do ride a lot and you smell at the end of the day, then your friends will thank you. Looking, you at, have, looking at me have there, a jersey. James. I'm sorry, I've done, I'm, I'm looking at everybody really. We all, we all have that. Moving on to the professional range. Fabric wise, this differs as you would expect in some key areas. It takes quite a lot of what DHB have done with your jersey, James, mm. and just kind of builds on it. So we've got this incredibly, incredibly thin fabric. There's absolutely no sun protection here. Uh, if you were to touch this compared to Simon's jersey, you would really notice the difference between this. It's very thin, really stretchy. Like James's, it uses a heat management system uh, under the arms and down the side or the top of the arms and the shoulders. And he uses this uh, mesh. Well, it's not actually a mesh. It's not a mesh like yours is a mesh. It's kind no, of it's a, different, isn't it's it? like a woven fabric. Uh, it's like a lycra fabric, isn't it? It is like a lycra fabric, and it's actually, well, DHB call it uh, a disruptive technology. Dis so it's it's disruptive. So it's aerodynamic. So it actually helps the jersey uh, move through the air uh, a lot cleaner than you would perhaps get on yours two's uh, jerseys there. So this is actually 117 grams in a size medium. So it's a little bit heavier. So it's a little bit heavier yeah. than James's. And whilst that might be surprising, it's not actually unexpected. Because of the aerodynamic uh, properties of the jersey, it does add a little bit of extra weight, although it does help make it go faster. Well, I want to talk a little bit about the fabric as well, because I think that's where one of the areas that jumps up with this particular short here. So um, I said earlier about the slight compression. So it uses a fabric called Energy by Revolutional, and it's a quite a, quite a heavy duty fabric. It feels really, really sort of like sort of tough. And it really does like sort of create a compressive force, which if you ride for a long distance or a long period of time, it helps reduce muscle fatigue. Um, it's also, got cold black technology so even though it's blue it's got cold black technology which on hot days it means that it absorbs less heat energy so it keeps you cooler for longer there's also more mesh at the front so it sits lower so there's less lycra there so it means you don't get that sweaty thing when you get all your rolls of fat you know when you're sort of like leaning down uh, so the fabric on my air on lab shorts is Scholler fabric which is a bit more advanced mm -hmm. it's a bit more aerodynamic and it is actually a bit more expensive so that is where the price difference between uh, those two and this short is really probably made up is in that shoulder fabric so let's look at the third f features the features on my Aeron jersey that i quite like in this lovely aubergine color uh, james aubergine. pointed out Definitely earlier aubergine. is obviously it's got a full length zip uh, which is a nice feature over the basic £25 jersey. Um, we get laser cut uh, cuffs, armholes, whatever you want to call them, um, which do sit against the skin really, really nicely. So it kind of stops any riding up or any movement in that area. Um, good for aerodynamics, but that's more into your jerseys. Uh, and this isn't claiming to be anything like that, um, but it does sort of keep the form and fit and function of the jersey uh, really well. Um, at the back, we are getting a standard array of pockets, so you get three pockets at the back, um, but you do get a nice safety pocket um, for your valuables here, um, so four pockets in total. Uh, and at the hem, the bottom of the jersey, uh, we get a sort of fairly standard silicone gripper that is going to sort of keep the waist in place and you also get a few sort of reflective details um nothing you know major but it's going to every little of, helps it does no I, I really do think that mm. every little helps uh is is a good sort of standpoint for for little reflective something that catches your eyes kind of subtle out of the way you don't notice it but someone else might which is a nice little feature moving on to this one so there are certain similarities in terms of the amount of features so the first thing if we go to pockets first of all uh, we have the same sort of array of pockets so we've got the three main pockets and then a small zipped pocket here but inside one of the pockets is a little separator and a divider and a little hole for your headphones or race radio depending on what level you are, really. We all like a race radio, don't we? We do like a You're race You're off radio. the back. You're <laughs> off the back. <laughs> I mean, I'm on. off the back. <laughs> but the biggest difference then is in terms of the how they sit. 
So these pockets are designed to sit completely flat against the back. So if you are racing or you're going for like a you know, time trial, then they, there's no air that can actually catch into those pockets. So it's very, very thin material they use on this. Uh, same goes with those hems or the armholes. So we've got the same sort of laser cuts, but here it's only three quarters of the way around. So we've got that, that vented, that open mesh there that sort of closes it up. So we've got an even thinner material here. So it sits incredibly close to the skin. So effectively, you don't know where the jersey starts, and where the skin ends or vice versa. Now on the Aeron Lab jersey, here, I'm going to start with something which I think is pretty cool. DHB have actually done something really clever here and they've integrated the gripper into the uh, jersey sleeve there. So uh, this removes the need for another seam around the side. So it just makes it sit far more flush to your arm, mm -hmm. uh, far more comfortable and also takes some of that bulk away that you would find on your jersey because that is quite a big bit of material yeah, that they've yeah. put on the end. So this makes it a kind of seamless fitting and lightweight fix, which is really cool. I really quite like that. And then we've got three pockets. Uh, and it's actually quite nice to see a race level jersey not sacrifice in the pockets, because obviously not a lot of pro riders really carry a huge amount in their pockets, not when you've got a team car. Uh, this uh, real tight hem here, and it's like, you can see it's very laser cut. It's almost quite a raw finish there. So that's going to sit on the front. It's going to sit so you've really got no tight. folds, anything no like folds. that. That's all the way around, whereas like obviously on here, it's only that back court or back half, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's got none of the silicon uh, gripper that your guys has on the hem. No. It's all this kind of really tight, like tight elastic there. You're going to have to uh, sit quite low on the bike because that otherwise that will ride up the stomach. It's meant for you to be bent over. We've spoken about the straps quite a bit and you can actually really tell the difference between the basic level of the air onto the speed and then again onto the lab. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with these bibs. Uh, they do work as a, you know, a support to hold the shorts in place uh, and be so very uh, supportive around sort of the stomach and the waist. Um, but they can, if you get the size wrong, have a tendency to sort of dig in slightly uh, around the sort of elasticated straps here, where you guys with your sort of laser etched um, elastic kind of eliminates that completely. The basic paneling of the short, there's six panels, as you would get in a standard pair of shorts. Uh, it follows suit for you, James, in your six yep. panels. Um, and at the leg end of the business, um, we get silicone sort of etched onto the uh, elastic and the lycra at the end, which acts as a very, very good support. And, you know, when I've been wearing them, they haven't moved at all. But at the back, you get a nice, comfortable, stretchy, double over lycra material that keeps everything in place, but you, you're not getting that sort of grabby, foldy, sort of under the leg annoyance, uh, as I have found with some short and other brands. Moving on very quickly to the pad, and some more features here. And so it's a Sci-Tech pad. Um, but this is where a big difference lies between all the shorts I found. And you can really tell on my pad here, which DHB say is good for five hours of riding. Um, but it, all of the cushioning is moved to the back. So it's kind of showing where they slightly position these shorts and the right type of rider riding these. And that's slightly sitting further back on the saddle, a bit more comfortable, a bit more relaxed. Um, but that's not to say the shorts don't give you that support when you are sort of bending forward and getting on the drops. Uh, but you can really tell that there is quite a sizable bit of pad sort of towards the back of your bottom. Side tech pad as well. So this is slightly different to yours though. So it is, should we get yeah, a Let's get a pad, we'll do a pad off. You can see the difference in the style of pad here uh, and what you're getting. So there's a lot more uh, sort of different panels. Yeah, you know, th this is uh, what SciTech call their Comp HP. So it's designed, whereas yours is five hours, this is supposed to be six hours plus of comfort in the saddle. So um, hopefully if you go out all day, you should retain that. It's still pretty thick at the back. It's not quite as thick at the back there. It's kind of shifted forward a little bit. Yeah. So if you're in that more sort of aero position, that lower position, we've got a bit more padding on here as well. If you keep your pads there, we're oh. gonna see a real difference here between mine and yours and that is in just how thin my pad is compared to your twos and so you've got 
James, you've got these like different got, like, three layers, different here. density yeah. levels there. Yeah. This has three different density levels as well, but you can see that they're not all at the back yeah. like yours are. They're spread much further forward, so it retains thickness down here. So yeah. that is obviously suggesting you're going to be lent right forward on the bike, uh, and it's much thinner at the back. Uh, and then things are kept very comfortable around the leg holes as well, using the same technology we saw on the jersey. It's integrated that silicon gripper into the cuff there, uh, which makes it much more comfortable and much lighter as well. So basically, if you were to wear the Air on Lab shorts with the Air on Lab jersey, you're effectively going to be wearing kind of a skin suit. It's just not joined around the middle. So those side uh, panels that we saw on the jersey are going to link in very nicely to these side panels here on the short, which helps the airflow right around you. It's going to help heat dissipation as well, because this is really thin. You can see my fingers there, and you're pushing through it. So it's going to dissipate heat very well, wick moisture away, and uh, line up very nicely with the jersey, making you fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Nice. Well, so nice. I must say, these weigh in around 180 grams. These are a little bit less. They were 154 grams. These were 149 grams in a small. The financials of the these financials. jerseys. Well, uh, let's start with uh, Simon. 50 pounds. We'll get you this jersey, which I think is a very reasonable price. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And it's a nice technical piece of kit. It is, definitely. Get a lot, get a lot of bang for your buck. You do. James. And obviously it's available in different colours if you don't like aubergine as well. Yeah, I, I think we need to get the real colour down. I, I don't think it's aubergine, but... <laughs> <laughs> and so, if you want a bit more speed and a bit more bang for your buck on here, this Aeron Speed is actually £65, so it's wow, quite okay. close. That is yeah. good price, or price comparison to that particular version. Um, but obviously, as I said, if you, if you want something a little bit tighter, a little bit more racy, a bit more aerodynamic, uh, or for really hot rides, then £65 gets you the air on speed. That's cool. That was interesting as well, actually, because there's quite a jump there. This is £110 for this jersey. So there's a jump from 65 to 110 But for that money, you really do get the elite level features on a jersey. It's not as expensive no. as some stuff that's out no. there. And for that, you're getting race ready performance. And also, to be honest, you don't need to be racing to wear this jersey. If you just want to feel fast on the bike, and feel like you're holding your form really well, this could be a really good option. You will only have to pay £75 for the Aeron shorts. These are actually only £85, well, so okay. wow. they're pretty close. But again, there's that sort of different, different needs. These are £130. Um, again, uh, really almost nothing compared to what we see at the top end of the bib short market. OK, and that pretty much explains the fundamental differences between these three kits and that's the air on range from DHB and it's not only the fabrics and the technical features but it's fit as well. Yeah and even though we saw that the air on and the air on speed are in that performance fit sort of category uh, there are huge differences between them and it really does come down to the style of riding or the type of rider that you are as to which one you might actually go for. Thanks again guys. Uh, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. And if there's anything you want us to cover in terms of basic budget products to high-end stuff, please leave a comment in our comments section below. But until then, we'll see you next time. Okay, so that pretty much surmises what the fundamental differences are. I can't believe you just said surmises. surmises. That was an absolute curveball. I was not expecting that. Oh, it's Good word, though. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes just went wide. I was like, you what? It's got more than two syllables, You've been reading Simon. the dictionary again. <laughs>